Okay, now uh, we have to we have the backpack uh, relate. These are f uh, popular videos where James uh, always has a new pack after a couple of years, and he's his goal is to make it l weigh less. Okay, all these items. So uh, let's go. What is what is the pack? What kind of pack is it? And then we'll okay. just go in. This was given to me by a nice Christian man in Virginia. Okay, who didn't approve of my former backpack. It's a Finnish rucksack. I think it's a military grade rucksack. Nice. I, uh, I strengthened, I, I had to redo this, but I used old oiled shoe strings and a bandana to actually uh, uh, take the hand strap and secure it to the shoulder straps because my experience is with the military backpacks. If you handle much from the handle, the handles aren't sewed in near as good as the rest of it. Okay. And it's only two points of contact. So. I can uh, pick this up with 75 pounds in it and not rip this attachment oh, right here, which started to happen with a tactical pack. So I'm just dispersing some of the weight. So you're smarter than, a fin, than the fins. I, well, I'm, I'm sure uh, the real fins probably do this too. This is just uh, when it comes out of the, the production facility in Bangladesh. You know, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whoever uses it is going to have to improve it. Uh, canteen. Oh, you got and the old school canteen. There's cordage in here. Okay, so in case I needed, uh, I got stabbed or something like that, and I need to make a tourniquet, or if I had to string up uh, a shelter, okay, uh, uh, Bob gave me this cordage that's in here with a slip tie on it, since I can't do knots or shit, all right? I usually have this thing empty, uh, and then if you're not allowed to buy food or drink on the train with cash, then I'll, I'll go to the bathroom and I'll fill this canteen up with water. Is that metal? No, this is plastic, uh, but there's uh, a metal piece inside of here that you could actually use uh, okay. oh, for making sure you get some borium in your diet. You know, you're uh, not supposed to heat this you stuff. You can't up. smash like a, a Japanese infantry uh, head in at night with this. No, okay. no, no. And uh, Aunt Rick told me to put something underneath the bottom so that, like, contact with sidewalks and train station platforms and stuff wouldn't just shred the bottom of the backpack oh. he said that's where these yeah, things uh, uh, wear out so uh this is everything i own all um, right uh, right here so the little backpack which i've had for like six years is basically my office so i've got the nice new computers in here i just write with that I don't get online with that other than to post stuff on the back end of the website. The crappy old computer that the FBI agent in, um, in New Jersey gave to me uh, <laughs> a couple years ago. I used that to get online, and that's in these uh, postal packs. Right, right so there. you're using the packaging to reinforce it. Right, and I had to reinforce the styrofoam stuff with duct tape. Uh, you know, the styrofoam stuff that the... Uh, that the computer came in so it wouldn't fall apart. This is an external hard drive that all my work and uh, all my research material that Miss Lockhart has sent me is there. So that goes in here. Uh, that's replicated in these uh, in these flash drives right here. And the other stuff, I only use glasses for writing and reading now. So they go in here. I use this for doing podcasts. And my little radio mouse. And this is a dongle. This oh, is dongle. A, this yeah. is a thing. I was really thrilled to find out that the scientists of Wakanda have finally come up with a computer invention. This is probably very old from ancient Egypt. That's so right. One of my hosts in Baltimore got me this. So I could use this to plug in my external hard drive and two flash drives and make copies of stuff yeah. more quickly so Wakanda this is forever. just my computer kit this is basically what all this other stuff is built around okay so uh, uh to pack it i'll do the side pouches last i want to pack uh, the interior part two books okay i only travel regionally with books okay they'll go in the bottom to you know just act as a as a bottom Knife for sleeping, given to me by Bob in case I find myself away from my trusty pants. He always wants to make sure I can stab somebody. Oh. Okay. Uh, my two charger cords. I don't put them in there because I, I plug these in wherever I'm living at the time. Mm. And these are good to put in the bottom because of the weight. 
Uh, he says stabs, he means stab them with knowledge. I have, uh, right. yeah, this is my truss in case I have to do heavy work and for funerals and weddings. Oh, my, my dress shirt. So it's okay. given to me by when, and this is given to me by uh, Manny. It's one of his shirts. So now I've got a bottom in there. So then the clothes I use the least, okay? My, uh, my black shirts and my shorts will go in here, all right? Now, I can drop a little backpack in here. It's really, I'm usually the first one to train because uh, it's, because I, I'm only carrying this one item, all right, yeah. so. Looking at you, you tend to look like you're on time. Eric gave me uh, this oh, thing here, it's an Iron Fan trainer. Yeah. All right, so that one, go down here in the side, and then I use the rest of my Close to pack around this. It's nice how you still you remember you used to roll them and put them in. Now you have them ziplock. Well, they're rolled in ziplock. Right. Okay. So I've got uh, you know about six shirts, uh, uh, a week's worth of socks in case I don't have a washing machine for a week. Logistics. Okay. All right. This is the Krav Maga plants given to me by Miss Ez That's and right. the church lady sweater given to me by the, the Baptists. Look, the Krav Maga the is, the best, is the best martial arts and, ever. And there's also, there's a, there's a pouch like right here that you can use to put enemy foreskins in once you take them, which I thought was really... And look, Krav really, Maga is really, superior really, to everything. Really, really cool. So these are writing pants that uh, Miss Lockhart sent me. So I have something... Uh, clean to put on after I traveled and get right to writing. This is another Teamsters jacket in case my hoodie gets wet. Man. In the winter time, I would be wearing this. Yes. I was even wearing it like a week or so ago. You gotta hook me up with the These Teamsters. These are my so. dirty clothes. I uh, is that a pillowcase? I keep them in a pillowcase. Nice. So then, once I get somewhere and I wash these things, then I've got a pillowcase. Right. Uh, see. Right. And make everything uh, do the work in two things. This is. Hotel towel and washcloth that I liberated uh, from bondage. Oh, you wanted those guys. And, uh, uh, <laughs> in St. Louis, this is my toiletries, you know, my, yeah. my like razor and toothpaste and stuff like that. So, this this thing is basically like a duffel bag. Yeah, a duffel there's, bag, but it makes a, it a tactical bag. There's also a, a, a lower compartment you could get in here in the front. I stopped using that as a separate thing. Alright, so this is my limited medicine, I don't need much medicine, it's just basically for seizures and in case I get bronchitis, uh, so I got antibiotics and stuff, and presents for my granddaughter. Oh, good. Okay? So that goes in this very nifty compartment up That here. is nifty, look at that. All right, w which is, this thing is, you're not supposed to float it in a river and expect it not to get wet, but this thing is uh, highly water resistant. Mm. And... I have some pens on the outside of this. You know, That's like right, right for writing down yep. a spontaneous notes. All right. And the side pouches were also given to me by that nice gentleman. Oh, oh. so this is the Molly attachment. Right, so you on this side. Up. Oh, oh, I've got my my train knife in case I needed to, you know. Oh. In case I was accessing these uh, these goods right here. So my keys and my spare eye patches. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the the mask police supplies. I probably won't use these until uh, the Megalodonicron, uh, you know, yeah. variant comes out in September, and we once again I have heard to about that up. one. Oh boy. Okay. So this is this is the emergency blanket. I travel with this instead of the bivy sack because it takes up less space. Oh yeah. It weighs less. Uh, so this is uh, um, athletic tape and bandages uh, for when my paper thin skin just like rips apart on contact with uh, these devils. With doors these and these stuff devils like are thin skin, yo. Okay, so I have uh, I forget what nice lady bought me this belt. Okay, I think this was in the Pacific Northwest. All right, and uh, I have. My sunglasses, which don't fit in here too well. Sometimes I strap them on the outside, but these are like cheap dollar store sunglasses. 
So, it, been, you know, it's my, been cloudy a lot, like Northern my, England here. So my, my care need it. For, for these glasses is substandard. Okay, uh, so I have the bottom. This is all the stuff I've taken from hotels to clean my skanky oh. Yeti hide with. Okay, so my spare batteries for my flashlight and my computer mouse. Cards, playing cards, the stuff to clean up with. Saline. Uh, my saline for my off damaged nose. Okay. And this thing, like when I'm traveling, I might put some like peanuts or something on the top of that that I could get to to eat. And then this is uh, vitamin. B and MCT oil, oh, it's wow. in vials, you know, so I might have to go three days without eating when I'm on the train going across the country, uh, just because sometimes they don't take cash, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not up to date. So this is vitamins, this is just my vitamins that I take that have all been shipped to me by my editor who wants me to stay alive to write more books, so every time I get sick in the winter time, uh, you know, vitamins start showing up in the mail where, wherever I am. This is very, very oh, nice, very nice. Thanks, lady. thanks again, Lynn. Okay. <laughs> and this thing here, I actually use this. Uh, I just tie it up like this. It's just something spare that I could use as a head covering. Yeah, or so it bend down. A tourniquet or, or something like that. And I just tie it to get out of the way. And they want you to have these things on Amtrak. Mm. You know, so I just filled out the tag. Uh, even though I don't have an address, I did put my phone number in it. So this guy weighs uh, 46 pounds, probably because I added a pound worth of books in there. Mm. So when I go across the country, I'll probably probably try to get it down to mm. uh, uh, 44 pounds. I've had it as heavy as 70. Yeah. All right, All so, right. Well, so that's, uh, that's it. And straps in, you got a hip strap. I attached this, well, I might as well. People uh, have actually expressed some concern with my ability uh, to even get on the train. Some old ladies were watching me in Denver and they're like, oh my God, <laughs> that thing's heavier than you are. So I have a hard time with my left shoulder getting that. So and I said, no, but I get weaker every year. All right, there we go, ready. And the whole boat is ready. This uh, thing here, I found this bandana on this loop. Kind of works better than sticking your thumbs in here. Oh yeah, it's, it's, okay. It's so I, I'll I'll usually just hold this when I'm uh, when I'm getting on a train or whatever, and it looks like uh, I don't know. I've become emaciated going across the country, so I have to uh, tighten this up a little oh, bit. Oh God, you lost weight. What a yeah. Well, don't you go, get with the current thing and be a fat asshole? Well, oh, sorry. I, I was a fat asshole. Now I'm just an asshole. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm trying to make it to a skinny cancerous. Looking thing. I like to look like a Billy Idol with a dense <laughs> metastatic cancer. <laughs> oh jeez. That's what I'm uh, I think that's, that's what I'm uh, I think I think we got we got the gist of it. Okay man, ready for action. Alright. Thank you.